we want to solve the given exponential equation and give the answer in exact form as well as rounded to three decimal places. So the given exponential equation is 10 raised to the power of negative 2x equals 12.4. Because the exponential part is already isolated, there are two main ways to solve this equation. We could take the common log of both sides of the equation because we have base 10 here, or we can write the exponential equation as the equivalent log equation using the definition of a logarithm shown here. For this example, we'll be using the definition of a logarithm, where this log equation and this exponential equation are equivalent, where b is the base, a is the exponent, and n is the number. So let's write this exponential equation as a log equation. So we know we'll have a logarithm, and because we have an equation, we'll have an equal sign. Let's first identify the base. Well, the base is 10, so we have log base 10, which is common log. So we can actually leave the base of 10 off in the next step, because if no log is given, it is base 10. Next, a logarithm is an exponent, and therefore the logarithm is equal to negative 2x. Again, notice the exponent is a here, and the logarithm is equal to a in the log equation. And then finally, because the exponential part is equal to the number 12.4, our log equation is log base 10 of 12.4 equals negative 2x. And just to double check that we have this correct, if we were to write the log equation as the exponential equation, we start with the base and work around the equal sign to form the exponential equation. 10 raised to the power of negative 2x equals 12.4, so our log equation is correct. And again, because we have log base 10, this is common log. So if we want to, we can rewrite this as just log of 12.4 equals negative 2x. Notice in this form, we can easily solve for x by dividing both sides by negative 2. So simplifying, we have x equals we can leave this as a quotient, or we can also write this as negative one-half times common log 12.4. So this is our exact solution that we enter into our first cell. Okay, we have x equals negative one-half times the common log of 12.4. Now let's also get our decimal approximation using the calculator. We have negative one-half and common log is this button here. Again, common log is log base 10. We have common log 12.4. Close parenthesis and enter. To three decimal places, our solution is approximately negative 0 0.547. Let's verify that our solution does satisfy the equation. So beginning with the original exponential equation, Let's substitute the exact value for x into the equation, which would give us 10 raised to the power of negative 2 times negative 1 half times the common log of 12.4 equals 12.4. Simplifying the exponent, notice how we have negative 2 times negative 1 half, which is positive 1. So we can write the left side as 10 raised to the power of common log 12.4 equals 12.4. Now we should recognize here this is a property of logarithms where if we have 10 raised to the power of log base 10 of 12.4, this simplifies perfectly to 12.4. So if the base matches the base of the logarithm and the exponent, it simplifies perfectly to the number part of the logarithm and the exponent. Let's just say we didn't recognize this though. Let's also verify the left side of our equation here does equal 12.4. So we'll enter 10 raised to the power of negative two times negative one half common log 12.4 close parenthesis for the common log, another close parenthesis for the product and enter. And notice how this does verify our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.